one, two, three, four, five, plus one in the water, six pink flamingos. He's known for his fantastic tap dancing abilities. Welcome everyone to the Flamingo Hotel. We're here for one reason, that is the Flamingo Habitat. Out here, we're gonna find flamingos, some waterfalls, and hopefully some other animals and other interesting things. So, come along with me, we'll see what the Flamingo Hotel Habitat has to offer. The habitat is situated right here in the middle of the property. You can actually hear some wildlife making noise in the trees. Certain areas are sanctioned off, others are open. Don't know which way to go, but we'll find out. Here's some feeders. It might be hummingbird feeders. But you do hear the water. There is a pretty neat waterfall feature here. Oh, there's some massive fish in there too. It's like a jungle feel. It's pretty neat. It reminds you of like being at Disney. There's some birds up there on top of the palm trees. Neat little oasis here. There's actually some ducks down there too. Oh, there he is. Well, here comes the duck. It's actually pretty neat because there's different pathways to take, which will take you to whole different areas. And again, in the water, there's some really humongous koi fish. There's ducks here, but I definitely want to see the flamingos. They're going to be the highlight. We'll say, though, the air has a little foul stench to it. I think the water may have a part to play in that, but white sturgeon. Oh, look at these ones. These are about three feet long. And there's also albino channel catfish. These things are scary. They're like monsters. But that is a, a beautiful sight right there. Despite the smells, thankfully there's no smell of vision. It looks like a tropical paradise. And it goes all the way over there too, which appears to be a restaurant there. It has seating right in the water's edge. If I was like scuba diving or snorkeling, I'd be scared straight because those things are huge. Looks like they take my arm off. They're sitting here actually down current as they would naturally to wait for the food to come downstream. But this is more of a duck area, Mandarin duck, which I think we saw earlier. Oh, I see the flamingos. They're up there. And there's more ducks actually quite a bit to see here. This is a wood duck. This water is loaded with dozens of these huge, looks like a combination of catfish, sturgeon, and koi fish. You guys can see, I'm going to try to crop in and show you, that fish right there is a monster. Wow, look at that one too. It's a pair of sunglasses down there. And there's a little habitat area here. The dock. Some ducks. And the water goes all the way around, so there's fish and ducks going all the way around. More water features. And a nice shady area too, with all the palm trees. So what we've been waiting for, the reason we came here is the flamingos. I'm actually gonna switch to my other camera, be able to zoom in and get some better shots. One, two, three, four, five, plus one in the water. Six pink flamingos. Very beautiful creatures. And there's a fact I heard, not sure if it's true or not. I heard that the reason they are pink is based on their diet of what they eat. 
So if you guys know um, if that's true or not, or know the reason why they do have the coloration, feel free to share in the comments. That one's forged on the bottom of the water. A huge long neck. Down here, we got a. I think it's a swan. It's a black one, though. And various ducks around here. Look at the size of that fish compared to the duck. Look a whole parade of them. Very cool though, they have a nice little area with the water, grassy patch, shade. I don't know if flamingos can fly, but it makes me wonder how they keep them here. You know, they don't really leave the area, so I don't know if they're somehow, you know, just taught to stay here, or they just stay where they're comfortable. That I don't know, but. Looks like the ducks do like to visit their area as well. And it must be like a feeding hose or a feeding tube. You see that one keeps sticking his head in there. And the duck's waiting for some scraps. It's like, hey, you gonna drop any? I'm hungry here. He's chewing over him. It's almost like he's teasing him. Side, and this one is doing a little ditty. It's dancing a jig. He's known for his fantastic tap dancing abilities. Gotta stay out of the public eye. They even have some water turtles here too. And I'll zoom in to show you there's a bunch of them laying out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, at least. There's also a couple in the water, and just above them, I don't know what they are, but they're sitting there resting. They look like hens, almost. A lot of variety. Oh, I found one, he's swimming underwater. Duck has the right ID. He came a little bit further away from the areas we were just checking out, and he has himself his own personal swimming pool, complete with a slide. Make sure you wait at least 30 minutes after eating before you go in, buddy. So that was a look here at the flamingo and animal habitat here at the famous Flamingo Hotel and Casino. If you ever come here, it is completely free. You don't need to be a member here or a guest or pay any type of permission. Just walk through the casino, follow the signs, and you can take your time here, take some pictures, check out the wildlife, the beautiful waterfalls, and some really fantastic photo opportunities as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks so much for watching. Like always, we'll see you in the next video.